So you might be wondering, what's my game here? I've already run server on Windows, but this is what happens when you run server on the latest build of Windows 10. I think you'll find it quite interesting. At first we have a UAC prompt, but you might not be surprised because I mean, you do get UAC prompts. Let's see more details. Okay, we'll allow that. Hmm, and another UAC prompt. Interesting. We'll allow that again. And yet another UAC prompt. And one more. And you actually get the exact task that is going to be created. It's disguised as Bluetooth uninstall device task, but obviously that's not what it does. Then you get this error message. And more UAC prompts. Even more. And then finally, you get the display color calibration executable. Again, obvious disguise. We keep getting more and more alerts. So you'd have to be really into running server to actually get infected, because just look at the number of prompts you have to answer. And then finally, your system reboots and server takes control. But what was that? More than 10 alerts that we had to actually click yes to? Which obviously, if you executed it accidentally, or even if you intended to execute it, it should throw caution to the wind and you might stop at any point. So the objective of this video is just to show how much more dynamic Windows is when it comes to dealing with threats with Windows 10. I mean, if you remember older operating systems like Windows XP, any malware that was created during the infancy of the OS was still pretty much lethal years later. So of course we did end up getting encrypted because I did click yes to all of those alerts, but I could have avoided that easily by clicking no at any point. Kudos to Windows for making Windows 10 so much more secure and using the UAC system very effectively to shut out older threats. So if you're going to get infected on Windows 10, it's very likely going to be from new threats. So it has really changed the dynamics of the game, making older malware kind of useless. So the time span for malware to be effective is, is much shorter now. Which is a good thing, because even though that's not going to prevent the actual malicious authors from orchestrating their attacks, because they don't really care, they can create new malware all the time, and they can easily evade these methods. But at least, your system is not so much at risk from random things in the wild. So you're not so much at risk from unintended attacks, which was a big thing before. Not always were you a victim of targeted attacks, sometimes it's just, you know, there would be a malware somewhere and it would just keep spreading and it would wreak havoc, even though it wasn't really benefiting anyone financially. And I think that problem is very much reduced with Windows 10. That's it for this video though, I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, this is Leo from the PC Security Channel, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.